also, good, good, good news. First clip of the day. I found the foundation. I'm sorry, was that loud? I apologize. So, that's what I'm wearing right now with the matching concealer. The wear test is going down. This vlog will probably be live like a few hours maybe like 24 hours before that view video goes up which reminds me to set an upload i'm also wearing these new highlighters from l'oreal i'm wearing rose right now which is the one in my lower part of my hand that's what that's the highlight that's the the glow i'm on second day here i poofed it up with some kenner powder wearing my flawless shirt some shorts it's really it's hot today it's gonna be 90 something so i ain't dressing up i got some starbucks to keep me going today because i stayed up really late last night went to go see jurassic world with lynn and susan which was amazing surprisingly i didn't think i would really get into it but i'm into it i'm also trying out this one dollar eyelash glue from daiso my friend Susie, aka mc at what, 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 i didn't say mcn mac nc40 uh that was her screen name on youtube what i call her Susie. um she recommended this to me from Daiso when I was out in LA. So I was like, you know what? All about that. She said it's really good for watery eyes. So I was like, okay. Today will be the day. I'm wearing Miss Dolly Lashes from Mosquito. Coupon code down below as usual. Uh, Lip-wise, I'm wearing this brand new... Brand new by saying I picked it up yesterday. Melted Chihuahua from Too Faced. And I've been looking for the shade forever. It's always sold out everywhere I go. It's a nice, like, my lips but better mauve -y type of color. I like that. Uh, I need to go to Angelina's house. I need to bring her over some headbands I bought for the girls. We are going to um, sew them. Or she's going to sew them. Thank you. I set this upload and then head out. It's so hot lately, guys. But I'm in such a better mood. My Brembo's, my new, well, not new breaks, but um, my calibers, my break calibers are here. They've, they've been in Minnesota. They went to Minnesota last week to get painted because they were originally goldy orange. And I wanted them red and they're being rebuilt. Or they are rebuilt now. And then... Basically, it's just more stopping power for my car. Uh, it's, it's just a super thing. <laughs> but all in all, um, I washed my car yesterday with Chris. It was hot as balls. I Snapchatted. It was like 93 degrees. But crappy things happen. Like yesterday, my iPad, which you rarely see. It's like a full-size one because you always see the girl ones. Got broken. Um, Hub was not in a great mood. Ava ended up dropping it. La, la, la. Just a bunch of everyone was stressed out type of thing. But then I got to kind of go have a nice movie time where I got to wind down. And that really got me reset, which was great. I'm like, this is what I needed. This. And I found the foundation day. Like, how did that happen? I don't know. Found that Target. But everything's turning around. So hopefully my bad week is over. I'm so excited if so. And yeah, we're just gonna get to moving. We're gonna be productive today. And hopefully I get to edit this vlog tonight. I forgot to show you guys earlier, but these are the Brembo's. They don't have the Brembo sticker on them yet, but they are basically like Louboutin red, which I like. Nice and pretty. Uh, I'm about to head off to lunch, or not lunch, dinner with hubs. Well, I already went to Angelina's house and she did the headbands and everything, which are awesome. I didn't really vlog at all. Um, on the way there, I forgot to actually. And then we made banana nut muffins. Meet them all. And then, oh, I'll show you guys the headbands. See? Headbands. We're just like cut smaller. We have no clue where we're about to eat. We're gonna find out. Need a bows. We're at Cafe Rio. And it's like Chipotle. So I got a salad. Guac and pico de gallo and cilantro and lime and cilantro lime dressing. Hub's got a burrito, no vegetables. We're sitting out on the like the shaded area because it looks like it's about to rain. Facing Popeyes, checking out an FBI that already rolled by, but yeah. As far as what mask I'm using, I'm using my Hanukkah Glacier Mud Mask. It looks like this. There you go. Oh, as far as on my nails, Essie's Mumba. M-U-M-B-A. I'm going to go shower and like wash this stuff off my face. Cleaned up my office. And wash some brushes. Then I got more work to do. Happy Saturday. I'm at Uncle Julio's for the first time with Hubs, and he got one of the brunch options, which is only on weekends. 
carne asada. I got fresh fruit with sweet cream, table side guac, and then my habanero honey bacon shrimp. My guac is amazing today with extra everything. Hello, hello. So, I just finished filming. Sorry, I'm so rude, I'm eating. Eating my leftovers from earlier. Hubs was so nice. He heated up the shrimp for me and he brought me a Coke without having to ask him. Very, very sweet. So we just finished filming, and what's sad is, I could keep my face on the rest of the day. And I could go dressed like this in the movies, but I'm not going to. We're gonna go see um, San Andreas, Hubs wants to go see San Andreas. We're gonna go to World Gate, which has like a whole, really cool reclining seats. I would go like this, but I can take my face off because no one goes see me. It's a movie. Does anyone else like, if you're not doing anything afterwards, don't really care if you wear makeup or not. Like I could go my lashes on, but I want to be comfy, reclining seats. I want to be able to snuggle up to my hubby on his shoulder, not get foundation onto his shirt. And I don't think I really want to wear a dress because it's really cold in the movie theater right now. It's hot outside. But I think I'd rather wear like pants. I think because then I don't know. I feel like my legs are stuck to the seat, or I don't know. I could wear this dress. Yeah, I could wear this dress probably. Wear this dress. Bring a jacket to cover my legs just in case I get cold. But yeah, so I would say hey, hey, hey. Oh, I got the infant symbol. Yes. Thank you, camera. I was about to. Oh, I'm chewing like a savage. Boom. Eat too much guac. I'm gonna show you guys the tree that fell on our road, which I just left there. They blocked the entire road. Luckily, we can still get in like our streets right before that tree fell. But um, it rained horribly yesterday. And when it rains, because we're so surrounded by freaking trees. Things fall onto our power lines. Black. That's our power goes out. Hate trees. We're not even in the wilderness. We're just in a freaking wooded neighborhood. Mm -mm. We're heading off to the movies right now. I brought my English jacket. Just got to Worldgate AMC. It's really hot. Do we have in the virus? They see the cure as a threat. Hold it right there, U.S. Navy! Sir, I got something on the radar. Incoming torpedoes range 500 yards! Good morning. Look at these children. Woo! We're going to Grandma's house. We're going to Grandma's house. They were excited a second ago. Coop was like, Grandma. But I don't try to mention it too much now because I realize if we're not there by the time I say that, they're like, Grandma. But I, I told Ava last night before she went to sleep like, that she'd go see her cousin tomorrow. They were asking to see them yesterday. So that's where we're heading off right now. It's like 10 30 in the morning. You sleep well, honey? I think he wants to see Jurassic World today, so I'll see him for a second time. I saw it on Thursday night with Lynn and Susan, then saw it again last night too. But Jurassic Park is her favorite movie series, so yeah. Oh, on favorite movie series topic. So this is a shirt that I want. It's on Teespring. In Teespring, how it works is that you have to like order, or they don't charge you to it. Like the campaign's full, but you have to order enough shirts for the campaign to print the shirts. So they've sold over 300 in the past, and they brought the campaign back like a million times already. But um, to get them reprinted, seven other people have to order. It's like a $20 shirt after like shipping from that. But it's all for Fast and Furious. It's the Tuna No Crush shirt. I just really want that shirt. It comes in a bunch of different colors. So if you want that shirt, check out the link down below because I think that's like the perfect shirt for any Fast and Furious fan. Because it's like a quote from the first movie. And it's something that's not obnoxious. There's no like car on the front of it or anything like that. It's just something that I think would be fun shirt. I, I'm getting it in black with the red. I was, Why are there so many crazy drivers today? I don't know. They want to know best. So right now Hubs is going to talk to that guy over there. Let me explain a little bit. So basically we're in my mom's neighborhood right now and we have a crap ton of grass. Like all the houses here have a crap ton of grass. So um Watching, but he's trying to get his cards so he can hire them to cut my mom's grass even though I told my mom I was like yeah you're not cutting the grass anymore we're hiring someone it's ridiculous you are she just turned 60 should not be cutting the damn grass and she's very stubborn she's like maybe when I'm older you can hire someone she's like but I'm okay right now but my mom is a very prideful person hello 
if you're watching mother i love you so we would want to hire someone anyway just, it's not even just because like she's oh it's not just because she's older it's because it's a lot of time involved hub says and it's just really tiring on her body and i i wouldn't want her to do that i mean it's kind of like sexist a little I guess you could say, because Monkey's dad is around the same age, and he cuts our grass. But he loves, dude. He'd be climbing roofs and stuff. It's like, he enjoys it. He likes to. So, if he wanted us to hire someone, we would. But we don't really have much grass. We have no grass in the back and only grass in the front of our yard. It's very small compared to my mom. My mom has, like, a huge backyard. So, yeah. I don't know. Some parents really, really just like to do it. Like, Cubs' aunt likes to do it, too. Even, like, they all have these grown kids with sons. <laughs> You know, and, and me and my sister are just, we rather hire someone, to be honest. That, that, that's, we're good at that. We're good at organizing things, so. I just got the card, and we're about to leave now. It's Dim Sunday. With Alan, and David, and Hub, and Anna, and Kevin, and Lynn's not here yet, so my purse is sitting there. We are killing it. So I'm at Target right now buying kinetic sand for the kids since daddy accidentally got crazy sand last time in one kinetic sand box. I got a bunch of the, the small ones that are seven dollars, got like the same colors roughly. Then they have the shimmering one, and I was like, oh heck no, I told Hobbs, do not get them the shimmering one, the glitter will get everywhere. Anyone who wears glitter and makeup knows. They also have like the plain colored one, which is cheaper, you get like two pounds of it. But I don't know if I'm gonna get that. And then they also have like cool Play-Doh stuff, now like they have Play-Doh Plus. That's supposed to be like softer and smoother. Crazy stuff. I want to get them this tub of toys eventually. But maybe for like Gooby's birthday or something. I got my favorite spot in the corner. As long as you reverse park, you're good to go. 